to kind of do like a get unready with me and kind of talk about like life because recently you know as we are on quarantine you got a lot of time to yourself you got a lot of time to think and i be getting deep sometimes honestly but um so yeah so i really just wanted to do kind of like a life chat like let's talk let's chat i've done one back in january of 2019 and that's the only one I did. But the really one of the reasons I started my YouTube was to do more of those. But I got scared, y'all. Like, let, let's just be real for a second. I'd be scared. I'd be so scared. And it's like, um, and that's really kind of what I want to talk about. So I'm going to start taking off my makeup and whatnot. Because I feel like this is going to get ranty in a second. But, um, just taking a makeup wipe real quick. Um, one thing about life and really what kind of sparked this whole what I hope I go into because I have the attention span of a goldfish so it may go a whole bunch of different ways I don't really know what we gonna go honestly but what sparked this right was back in another oh shoot another little doohickey I have is this little makeup um don't talk I got from Amazon okay let's get into it so back in may i did this consistency challenge that was started by maddie james i think her name is at the maddie james i'll leave her link down below but she is an influencer blogger etc etc right so she started this challenge for the month of may that whole 31 is it 31 days in may 30 31 whatever how many days in may um you post your content every day right on instagram so I remember, so she's actually, Backstore has been doing these like live Instagrams every Wednesday and um, she announced it in one of her lives and because it, it talks about like things, each week is a different topic for influencers, YouTubers, bloggers, what have you. So this particular one, she, I was watching it and she was talking about something really bomb because she'd be dropping gems in them too. Um, but she had, was talk. she announced the challenge and I remember thinking, I, remember, I think I even asked the question. I was like, oh, so you mean posting your Instagram story like every day? I can do that. I can post an Instagram every day. That's no problem. But she was like, no, like in your feed. And I remember I was petrified. And I know people watching this are probably like, what the heck? Like you scared to post on Instagram? But it's not that. It was. I was scared because it was posting every day. And I wasn't used to that because oftentimes... I stopped myself from doing a lot of stuff, right? So I remember immediately thinking, post every day on Instagram. Like, people are going to think I'm weird. People are going to think I'm strange. Like, what the heck? Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm talking about. But, and then I had to stop myself from stopping myself. So I guess I had to start myself. Because it was like, but why are you scared to do something that you like? Like, you like creating content about hair. That's why you started the channel. That's why you started doing what you do on Instagram. So why are you scared, right? So, um, let me wash my face really quickly so y'all don't have to hear like the water running. In the water. So, as I was saying, so yeah, I was like scared to post on Instagram and it made me think about, I remember a few weeks ago, maybe months ago, I had tweeted about how like I was cleaning out my phone and I'm going to try to see if I can find the tweet. Well, I like was cleaning out my phone like a while ago and it's crazy how much content and stuff I had in my phone that I didn't post because I was scared. And I was just like, why? Right? So, like, I say all of this to say quarantine has really made me look at the philosophy of consistency is so much better and gets you so much farther than perfection. And I know, and I now can say I'm kind of a testament to that because I did the consistency challenge. Now, I didn't post every day. I mean, I'm human, and May also was just a lot in general for the black community. Uh, well, at least like the last part of May. So, but I posted way more than I think I've ever posted on Instagram in my life, right? Um, because I wasn't really scared. I was like, what, what do I have to lose? Like, I mean, it's Instagram. Like, even like, you know, it's like, what do I got to lose? Like, it's Instagram. Okay. So, what, if a few, few people unfollow me, whatever, cool. So, I did it. I posted. And it got me back to, again, because I was going back through, like, my archive on Instagram and looking it back at how... I used to, even in college, was very, you know, I posted more. I didn't really, you could tell 
the tone kind of in my post back in college was more so like a I'm posting this like who cares whatever and then I got to 2017 when I really started like first started out with like blogging YouTube and it got more serious because I was trying to be like all the other influencers who have like hundreds of thousands of followers hundreds of thousand people um millions of people and, and subscribers and all that and, I, and you could tell that I was trying so hard to be this perfect creator this perfect influencer and it, it lost me in a sense and it wasn't like and that's just it's small stuff like just posting I used to post motivational quotes not for other people honestly it was from a damn self because sometimes I needed I needed to know that I needed to see those words because again I'm a very visual person so I needed to see that and I stopped for whatever reason because I thought I don't know maybe people will think I'm weird um you know people will think because I'm not a life coach why am I I don't know I don't know what I was thinking I don't know sometimes you just want to go back and just shake yourself a little bit but um so yeah so that really got me thinking about just in life how me especially and I'm, I'm gonna speak for me because this is my channel um but we get so or I get so bogged down in the perfection of things and the trying to be perfect that I lose sight of the bigger picture right and so that consistency challenge really I got to have kind of I felt like I was having fun on Instagram again I was creating more stuff about my natural hair which is like kind of my focus or even when I look at my channel you you can look on my channel and see there's like a nine month gap where I didn't create anything like okay I'm gonna try Instagram TV see if that works see if I become famous or, or do take off and do all these great things on Instagram TV don't even worry about YouTube I hate YouTube I'm done with YouTube or my blog even when I had if you've been like rocking with me since 2017 I had curls curves and cannons.com and I think again I was trying so hard to be perfect and get the SEO right and get the viewers and get the eyeballs and get the ads get the this that and then like I got so overwhelmed that I just gave up and I just quit so I say again all this to say FYI this is not a skincare video um so that's really why I'm not showing you the products but if you really want to know I'm just I washed my face with the CeraVe cleanser because I love that stuff um and I think I'm gonna do a mask I'm gonna do the sand and sky Australian pink clay mask because I really like it but again I told y'all I got the attention span of a goldfish I'd be going different places I gotta stay focused um but I say again through the consistency challenge right so I was posting content I was having fun I got back to motivating the quotes because again they, they motivated me right like I it was my page I got to show like different comparisons of my natural hair and I got to talk about my natural hair I got to talk about traveling I got to talk no not traveling because you know corona ain't like I'm going nowhere but like where am I gonna go target with my mask um <laughs> but like I got to do like more fun stuff like kind of just you know I don't know and it, it just felt you can feel the difference even when I have affirmations on my mirror you know you can see the difference and just you know I'm not 100 percent healed I don't know if that's the right word or like better right because there are still moments where I'm very anxious about stuff even like in school like I um you know if you follow me on Instagram you know I'm back in school or whatever and one of the things is ugh, discussion boards and god I hate discussion boards and I hate them for the reason of having to discuss with other people and I'm so I don't want to look stupid or sound stupid or sound like I don't know what I'm talking about especially this one class I'm in right now honey mm, I just like so it's like I would rather just not do it than at least try and it's like why why would I think that like I would just rather not do it than at least try and get that effort and so that's how I feel felt for a long time in a lot of areas in my life like I would just rather not do it and it was like especially because when you see a lot of other people kind of in the same space doing things that you're doing you start to think like okay maybe they're better than me maybe they're you know I shouldn't do it like maybe that's not what I'm supposed to do or whatever and it's like everyone has their own you know path and not to get too philosophical or religious or what have you but I mean it's true everyone what is for me is for me right um and so even like I would see you know I was worried like why aren't brands 
reaching out to me or why like what do other people have that I don't have but again when I kind of let my guard down and just was like whatever and just started having fun with it like during the consistency challenge like I grew my 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 numbers started getting better because I was doing what I kind of like to do right and sorry I'm looking in the mirror to put this on not, that's what I'm not looking at y'all but um like yeah so it was like brands I was able to and I even had more confidence myself to reach out to brands even if they said no I was like okay cool whatever like I wasn't so hurt by it like yeah I mean everyone we all have feelings we're human you still get butt hurt about things like but I you can't dwell on them so much even as I look at some of the decisions I made in my life you know I had to kind of shift my mind work my my mind to say kind of what um like what is the lesson I'm supposed to be learning here like where is this you know taking me I know this is not the final end right but where so in this moment what can I do now to you know understand it I guess if that makes sense and just thinking about life like even trying to just do this video I've been wanting to do kind of like a life talk revelation video let's just do it type of video for a long time but I never I was like oh no I gotta be looking good like I got to get dressed up I'm gonna do it one day after I film another tutorial and then I, I just forget or then I don't know whatever but like tonight I was like nah I'm gonna just do this right here right now while I'm getting my mask on y'all gonna see it and it's gonna be what it is so I say this long tangent of a life chat to say that consistency one thing that quarantine has taught me and I'm, I kind of am mad at myself that it took me this long to learn it because like I said in the first half of this video, like when I came across that content that I had, I was like, why did I not post this? Like, why did I not just do this? And again, it's just that fear of, am I gonna look stupid? Am I gonna look crazy? But again, I came across a quote recently and I'll try to um, post it in here, was like, you'll, uh, what did it say? And I can't look because I'm on my phone right now filming, but it was like, you know, you'll annoy some people and you'll inspire others it was something along those effects again I don't, I'm filming on my phone so I can't look at it now but um you know so somebody gonna somebody gonna feel it somebody gonna appreciate it somebody gonna vibe with it and some people may not but like that's a risk you take with anything in life like people gonna like you people not gonna like you and for me someone like me I'm you know I'm an empath I am a people pleaser I'm a Virgo like I want to get along with everyone I just want the world to be happy and, and butterflies and giggles and love but like it ain't everybody ain't gonna rock with you and that just sucks that really does suck but I mean you can't really do anything about it I guess but I don't know just like this video some people gonna rock with it some people not did the light just flicker I'm not tripping uh so I really hope that this video, and y'all can hold me accountable, is a, did I get everything? Like a starting point, right? To really just like, see right here, I'm freezing them in perfect human in live form. Um, I hope this is like a starting point to get back to the things that I wanted to do with the channel in the first place. You know, when I created this channel, it was for my natural hair, yes, but like, I just wanted to kind of like share things with my life. Like I've always kind of liked being in front of a camera. My dad's a photographer, so like literally he has pictures of me from literally like C-section with my mama, literally coming into this world in every moment, second, hour, therefore after within my 20 almost 25 years of living shout out to my dad like i promise you it is <laughs> he always makes a joke like if i ever like become famous or go missing like he got the pictures and that's so true so i've always kind of like being in front of a camera and just like showing people things and then like my hair journey i was always that person that was buying new products trying new products trying new hairstyles trying new trends you know closures wigs um, I remember I was like when curl formers came out I don't know if any of my nationals remember when curl curl formers were a thing y'all like I remember freshman year of college maybe a little bit of sophomore I'll have to ask my friend that they have pictures but yeah I was with the curl formers so like I always kind of liked trying things and I wanted to share that with 
other people, right? Like I wanted to share that, that, that part of my life and then the struggles I have with clothes because I know that there is someone else out there who cannot fit in a size two or four. Like we, we, what we, we size 12 gang over here. Like it is what it is. And it's always been like that. Like I've never been that person. We were talking about the other day with my friends, like skinny jeans. Well, I could not wear skinny jeans until maybe like senior year of high school, freshman year of college. That's years 2012 through 2013 for reference because it just they just didn't fit me right so i wanted to create the channel to kind of show as i moved through life if i could find clothes that could fit me properly you know and share that with other people right um and i wanted to share the different things in my life so i hope that this video is a caveat to do that to to really just start doing more of it and not and i'm not gonna give up this time like i said last time i was almost i was almost ready to give up on youtube because i was just like man no one's watching it no one cares about me no one does like why am i doing this wasting my time but then i like again changed my mindset to think i like it i like doing this type of stuff i like doing my hair i like filming it i like taking pictures of it i like trying new products and i want to share that so if i like it period that's fine that's it um and again it's no perfect journey there are still some days where i look at stuff and especially that consistency challenge there were days where like i didn't want to post because i didn't like the picture but i was like i have to post i have like this is a challenge i'm trying to win yes there was money involved but like money motivates everybody i was trying to win that money i was trying so <laughs> i was like do you either want to you want to win this money or you want to sit up and be a little punk because the lighting wasn't right in the picture like you can't change that like some things you just can't change it is what it is it is what it is so that's why i come to you all live in color with a face mask on to just kind of say yeah like we here we're trying you see you know, i'm gonna try to be more open have a little more fun on my channel show a little bit more different and we in quarantine so like life as we know it in general is changing and i think that this has actually been kind of like a a weird kind of blessing like at first i remember when quarantine happened i was like <laughs> i was one of the people i was like y'all we y'all sure but we gonna be out just quarantine by like july like what everyone just stay at home wear your mask we're gonna be done <laughs> that was probably the biggest lie i told myself because here we are almost what i don't even know what day it is i don't know what month it is <sighs> i just don't know but anywho, so life as we know it in general is changing for a lot of us, right? So we are, so yeah, so I think that, that you kind of have to look at your mindset. Like I said, you're spending more time, especially me, I live, like I'm, you know, spending more time by myself. You can't go nowhere. You can't go out. You, can, you literally have to sit in like, for me, like I said, just look in the mirror and be kinder to myself. Be kinder to, because if I'm not kind to myself, I can't really be kind to anybody else. Um so just trying to look at those lessons in life and still just grow every day like i mean i journal every single day like if it's nothing but my gratitude like i have i'm a journaling fool that's another fun fact about me i have probably at any given moment i at least have two journals i have my journal journal which is like my thoughts and then i have like my gratitude journal which is strictly every day I write down three things I'm grateful for. I started this back in September and at first, I'm not gonna lie, when I started, I, I was like, okay, I wanna start this to kind of have a way to physically like write down, you know, obviously my, what I'm grateful for, my blessings, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I started that in September. Then, I, and so I just did it every day for three days. Even if I didn't have my journal, I typed it in my phone. Like I have a locked note on my phone and just been going three day three things every day that I'm grateful for and I try not to make them the ones that are like I'm grateful that I woke up and yes that's a blessing in itself and honestly some days it's just that like if I'm having a bad day I'm just grateful to be alive but I do try to look outside of those things and outside of like physical tangible things like what am I grateful for today or how did I honor myself is another thing I started adding in there it was like how did I honor myself today was it did I do a mask did I go clean a room or something you know what I'm saying so I started that in September and it's so interesting how I can look back now at those things and 
it's just really a, it's a really it's a it helps shift your perspective on a lot of things right so i'm always journaling and quarantine has allowed me to get back into that because we get so locked down in the hustle and bustle of life like i never had like a skincare routine i found me an eyes and i still don't have one now you know my best friend has a skincare blog so that's really who i go to for all my advice her and um actually two skincare blogs that are bomb and i will leave them both down below for beautiful black women um i will leave them both you know and below and everywhere but um quarantine i'm i'm actually taking time to develop a routine to honor my like to honor myself and say i deserve this this few minutes just to take care of myself like now tonight right here um so yeah so again i really just say all this to say that i'm gonna try my best to and i think that they always say when you speak things out loud and have people to hold you accountable it helps you get to like your goal or whatever so i'm saying this to say you're gonna see a lot more realness i hope to have more talks like let's because i think there are things i was in a group on a group call with a group of young ladies um a few days ago and it's always like you know we always think that we are alone in our problems or we think that we are alone in our thoughts but really you never know this bit even this video right here it may somebody may come across it and really rock with it and it may be the thing that they need to hear because it's always like it's like church you know you you can go to church you cannot go to church for a long time but it's that one sunday that you do go it's like the the pastor is just staring at you and is talking specifically to you because you ain't been to church in a long time so um you know so i hope that I can talk a little bit more about, like I said, my, maybe my schoolwork or maybe like, um, something that is, is something that I still kind of deal with every day really is grief and just losing loved ones. Because if you know me, if you follow me on Instagram, since 2017, it's been a very unsettling, um, I've had a very unsettling experience with grief and just losing people like everybody was dying everybody was around me so it's and it's still something I still still cry about I found myself just randomly crying about it just like I don't know so um so I just want to kind of make myself feel more comfortable in getting comfortable with the uncomfortable and just being more transparent being more honest being more me that's why I changed it from curls curls and candid because of Kirsten Cole is me like that's you know um I retweeted a quote yesterday and it's on my mirror I put it on my mirror and it says there's not another you and it never will be be very confident in that and I want to do my best to honor that more because I do get so wrapped up in trying to be like everybody else trying to be perfect trying to not make mistakes but like, I mean, that's life. Like, like life's gonna happen. Stuff gonna happen. I'm not gonna be perfect at everything. I say all that to say, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you don't mind my appearance, but I wanted to get it done because if I didn't do it, it was never gonna get done. So I just had to do it. So I will see you guys on the next one. Make sure you follow me on Insta and all those fun things. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. I'm gonna go wash my face off and, um, Love you guys. Be safe. Take care. Text somebody and tell them you love them. Because life is, that's another thing, man. Life is short. So you got to either do it, tell people around you you love them, tell yourself you love yourself. And I will see you guys later.